Dave Ridley here signing in with my psychedelic picture from Free Keen Fest. I'm sitting here, fortunately, with Rich Paul, who was just released after being, well, you were released yesterday after being arrested uh, for publicly smoking marijuana in the Central Square in Keene. Uh, Rich, what happens next? Uh, well, next thing is uh, a second arraignment. I've got one on the 2nd of next month, and so now I have a second one on the 30th of next month. Um, and go in and uh, take this out of the street into the courtroom. And you had indicated that you guys had been planning to stop the protests yesterday. That was going to be your last day. But now because of the arrest, has that changed? You're going to extend it? or? Um, I don't... I mean, I don't think we can uh, cancel or uh, go on hiatus right now because they've just made arrests. And what it looks like, even though we were planning on going on hiatus, is that, you know, it would look like we were buckling under. So I think we're going to have to be out there for a little while longer. So it's kind of like that episode of The Simpsons where Monty Burns is about to quit, that they hit him, and he decides to he's in a bowl after all. Yeah. <laughs> now I feel better. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Uh, what what do you think uh, is going to be hard to have numbers uh, with the weather getting more difficult? Mm -hmm. uh, it is going to be hard to get the numbers out with the uh, with such bad weather, um, you know. But really, I mean, I don't think they were out there yesterday because we had. I think yesterday we had about three hundred people. Uh, you know, including there, there were, those who were gathered you mean around. Three hundred who were there for the four twenty. Uh, yeah, who were either participating in the 420, plus there was a huge ring of crowd. I don't know if that comes through on the video, but there were a lot of people who were watching and cheering as this was going on. Um, so, you know, people definitely will get out there when it's cold, um, but that's a, that was a, uh, a special occasion because of Pumpkin Fest. I don't know if we're going to be able to keep that kind of numbers going, and it may well be much more low-key uh, over the winter. How did police handle themselves uh, in their decorum with you guys who were arrested? There were six of you total, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I I was with Noah Wood through the whole thing, and their treatment of us was just fine. Um, you know, the guy, he really didn't, he was a detective, he really didn't want to be arresting some, somebody for possession of marijuana. He's usually arresting people for things like burglary and murder. Uh, he doesn't give a damn about pot. Why should he? Um, so basically, they just wanted us in and out as, as quickly as they could. They, they, uh, my understanding is they felt they had to do a uh, some sort of enforcement action because you know they didn't want us corrupting the children and, and the pumpkins. But uh, and there were a lot of pumpkins out there to corrupt. Them. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, yeah, I think if I ever write an article on, on yesterday, it will be entitled, Not in Front of the Pumpkin. Okay. <laughs> All right. Rich Paul, pot activist in Keene, New Hampshire. Thanks for your time. Thank you.